Hey everybody, it's the doll boy, and today I'll show you how I transform my Descendants Mel doll into a version of Mel that is inspired by Descendants 3. In the trailers and promotion pictures from Descendants 3, Mel is wearing her hair in this long, over the shoulder bob in a middle part, in a purple color that has a lot more blue undertones than in the previous movies. However, you can see that the hair color looks different in different pictures. As you can see in my review, this Mal doll has some really short hair. So to create the longer hairstyle in the movie, change the hair color to a more blue-purple color and move her part from a side part to a center part, I decided to reroute her. The hair I used is the Saran hair in the colors Great Grape, Fatello Blue and Midnight Blue. This blend is a little lighter than I expected, but in the end I'm pretty happy with the colors anyways. I unintentionally ordered the long hair for this reroute, even though the hairstyle I want to give her is pretty short. So to avoid wasting a lot of hair, I cut the strands in half before starting the reroute. Then I start preparing the doll for the reroute by cutting off all the hair as short as possible and then I dip the head in boiling water. This way I can remove the head from the body and remove the leftover hair from the inside out, using my tweezers to scrape the head from the inside. When she's all bald, I start rerouting the hairline and the part line. Since she originally has a side part, I had to create the middle part from scratch. If you want a more detailed look on how I do this, you can click the iCard in the screen to watch that video as well. Then when I created the part and filled the hairline, I simply fill in the rest of the head as well. When all the hair is added, there was some paint chipped because I had to dip the head in boiling water several times. But since it was just her eyebrow that got damaged, this will be an easy fix. So now I just add my Fabri-Tac glue I use a Q-tip to spread out the glue evenly. Originally, Mel had this really loose head. So before putting the head back on the body, I tied some elastic bands around the neck bag to make the head a lot more stable. After letting the glue dry, I put the head back on the body and I noticed an improvement in the neck movement right away. The head is still able to move really well, but it doesn't wobble around anymore. Then I boil wash the hair and cut it to the length I want it to be. I do leave it a little longer than I want it to be since I still want to curl it, which will make it look shorter as well. And you can always cut more when you think the hair is still too long. After cutting the bottom layer of hair, I already noticed that I was keeping it too long, so I went back in to cut a little extra length. I like working in layers to give her a really neat haircut. Then when the hair is cut nicely, I wrap all of the hair around straws away from her face to curl her hair. If you want a more detailed explanation on what I'm doing here, you can watch my doll hair curling tutorial. Then after boil washing and letting the curls cool off, I remove the straws and brush out the hair to transform the stiff curls into a more wavy look. Then, to make the doll look more like Dove Cameron, I wanted to give the doll bigger lips. Since Dove has really full lips, but the doll's top lip is extremely thin. Regarding her face sculpt, I was pretty lucky because the thickness of the lips wasn't really defined by the face mold, so you can easily give her lips a fuller look. To do this, I mix some acrylic paint in a color that's really similar to Mel's original lips. And then I just go in and overline the lips to the point where I think they're full enough to match Dove lips a little better. Then as you can see, in the trailers Mel has these really dark roots in her hair, 
for when the doll's hair is dry and all styled. I take a black eyebrow pencil and simply start drawing roots in her hair. I did recently make a separate video about this in case you want a more detailed look on how to do this rooted look and how to wash it out as well. And after that step, my Descendants 3 Mal doll was done. I really hope you liked the way this doll turned out. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to turn on your notifications to never miss another video and follow me on Instagram to see more pictures of my customs at the doll boy. See you next time!